Hello, welcome back to Steve's workbench at West Green. The railway was but isn't anymore, but might come back in a different guise. Well, you may wonder why my workbench is a mess. I normally are when you do stuff. If it's clean, it means you're probably not doing anything. Although some people would keep it clean, but not me. So, I've been up to a few things. This is my AC1, which I'm going to tell you about. And over here is a uh, Easy Build BSK Brake Second Corridor, which I've almost finished. I've got to build the uh, interior. Um, I've got to do, put a few transfers on the end, the C1 transfers, and then put the uh, tank full of pipes on. But other than that, it's basically finished. Anyway, more of that some other time. I bought this kit, I don't know, probably eight years ago. And um, I started it, and it's not, it's not a good kit to build, I'll be honest. And I'm not saying I'm perfect at uh, building stuff, because I'm not. I'm at best a hack and I, this has languished in the deep dark recesses of my modeler's cupboard and uh, there was a time when I thought you know what, I'm just going to take the wheels some motor and just chuck the whole thing away but um, you know sometimes I just feel that uh, you just got to push ahead and persevere and this is going to be no showstopper but um, I just decided I've got to finish it. As bad as it is, uh, I've got to finish it. This is a basic chassis. Oh, sorry. I had to make up some. Uh, I had to make up wheel. These weren't provided in the kit. Well, they were, but little ones. But when I looked at the uh, uh, eyes and glass drawings, it showed big ones. So I had to make those. Um, I've been working on the tender. Let's have a look what I've done to the tender. Put the axle boxes on. I put the vents, uh, the uh, dome for the uh, water scoop. I'm not going to put the water scoop on. The tank filler. I've put in um, lamp irons. These weren't in the kit, uh, as far as I know. Anyway, I've, I had some spares from a Warren Shepherd N2, so I put those on. Put the buffer housings on. Um, and the steps. Uh, handrails so that's pretty good but what I've done today I either lost them or they weren't there I had to make up new steps so I found myself a piece of a strip brass the same thickness and I just bent them up in a anyway I just cobbled them up and soldered them on don't worry about the springs I'm getting new ones uh, so I've done that uh, on the locomotive, let's have a look at the body. Oh, sorry, let's bring that down. That's bad. Sorry. Sorry about my um, dodgy camera work. I've got another dome for it because the dome supply was too tall. And even though this is not 100% right, it looks better than the dome I had. And failing, having the skills to turn one up, i just got to do what I can. Uh, I had Ram's bottom safety valves on it. But um, it's got the little operating arms, which are white metal, and I didn't like that. So I filled in the hole and put in um, Ross Pops. I've got to put, uh, basically the front's finished. I've got to put lamp irons on and clean it up. Um, that's about it, really. Uh, I want to get it to a stage when I can just get some primer on it, see what the blemishes are, and fix them up. So basically, there you've got it. I mean, look, overall, it's not too bad. And uh, I'm just going to try my best, persevere, and get it finished. Um, yeah, so that's it. I don't know what colour I'm going to paint it. I'd love to have done it in Great Northern Railway Green, but I don't think I'm up to that till I'm certainly not up to lining it. And even L and the R Green's a bit beyond my capabilities. I think BR Black's going to be it. Uh, it was in unlined black with British Railways on the tender. Um, I find it a bit boring. I actually, 
I know it's not uh, prototypical, but uh, I do. Look, I remember the well, I've seen pictures of a Brighton Atlantics similar type engine, and they were in line uh, were mixed traffic livery, and I'm thinking, hmm, I might even do the same. Anyway, thanks for watching.